Hi, and welcome back. We are in the Tesla this morning on a cool morning, and we have a new update. It is software update 2023.44.30.8, and we are going to go over it. There is much more than is indicated, and uh, Tesla is not telling us everything. Uh, I've checked this all out, so I'm going to show you everything, and we will see what we got. Uh, but before we get started, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Please like, share, comment. I answer all comments. Subscribe if you haven't, and let's get into it. Okay, so as I said, Tesla is not telling us everything in this release. This is 2023.44.30.8, and it says minor fixes. This release contains minor fixes and improvements. Um, but as I said, that is not 100% the case. Now, there was a lot in the holiday update here, which we did go over in my last, um, my last video, if you want to check that out. Um, but there is more in this video. There are several things in here that are not mentioned that we are going to go over and I'm going to tell you all about. So let me turn the camera around and we're going to discuss all of that. Okay, so like I said, Tesla's not telling us everything. They say minor fixes, but there is more. So several things that are in here, and some of these are in this family of updates, So, but also still not mentioned in the release notes for this family of updates, which is 2023.44.30. Uh, so those, some of these are in there, but not mentioned. So either way. So there are two, these are, there are two things that we're going to discuss. One of them is um, they've modified the display for when you're backing up. It's really, really nice. I'm gonna show you a clip of it here while I discuss it. Uh, it'll be on the screen here, what it looks like, cause I filmed it. And you will see that not only is the um, indicators for distance and the pathway of the car in the backup camera, but also in the main display to the left where it shows the car, you will see those. If your car is equipped with ultrasonic sensors, you will see distances to objects uh, listed in that main screen. If your car is not equipped with ultrasonic sensors, obviously you won't, but you will still see the pathway of the car. You will see little indicators that you're close to something and they will change color to indicate the distance, which is a really nice feature. So yeah, that's a big improvement when you're backing up, I think. Uh, I like it. I think it's definitely a good thing. Um, and I think it's a big help, and I think it's something that uh, I'm really glad that they did. Um, the next thing that's not mentioned that is in here is big improvements to internet connectivity. Now, I don't know how, it, not everyone may or may not be affected by this, whether depending whether you subscribe to premium connectivity or whether you do not, uh, or even if you don't, I guess for routing and navigating, you're still going to use the built-in, well, no, I don't know how that would work. I do subscribe to uh, premium co connectivity. So what the fix is, is there are two stages to this fix. One is when you, the switch between, if your car is on Wi-Fi to using the cellular connection is now quicker and seamless. It, so it used to be, let's say you're at home in your garage or at your house and your car is on the wireless and you begin to drive away, your car is on the wireless until you get far enough away that you lose signal and then there's a gap and then it switches to the cellular uh, of the car. Uh, now, as soon as you start to drive, the car automatically switches over to the cellular so that it's, it's a seamless switch. You don't have any uh, loss, you don't have any real gap or at least a very minor gap, I haven't noticed it. Um, but yeah, it's a big, big improvement in the way that the uh, internet functionality works. The second thing is that the speeds are increased from the last software updates. They have increased the internet speeds. Um, I have not personally tested this, but I have done my research and it has been tested and confirmed that the speeds, the internet speeds are definitely improved in the car, which is a huge benefit, very good. So these are two things, two areas of updates. One, the improved backup camera display, and or, well, in the main display, and two, the improved internet functionality. So two big things, two things that I think are nice features, nothing earth shattering, uh, don't get me wrong, but really nice features, nice things to have uh, in these updates. 
So that's all I wanted to discuss. I want to say thanks again for watching. Thanks for subscribing. And if you haven't, again, please click that subscribe button. It really does help. I'm trying to grow my channel. Every person who subscribes helps. Every person who watches helps. So thanks for watching. Um, it's free to subscribe. Please do. Uh, comment. Let me know what you think of these updates. I do answer all comments. And we'll see you next time.